Hello and welcome to our Wednesday workshop. We're live here in London. Uh, if you tuned into some of our other uh, Wednesday workshops, we've covered lots of different bamboo bicycle related build features. Um, and what we're going to cover today, really, really exciting, we're going to cover bottle cages and how to mount that all important, important bottle onto your frame. So what I'm going to talk through is if you're building at home, or if you're building a kit or anything like that and you want to put bottle racks onto your frame, I'm just going to talk you through how we're going to do that. So I'm just going to walk through how you measure up the frame, how you drill the frame and how you put the inserts into the bamboo and then obviously how you then fit the bottle cage. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to need a pen. I quite like a Sharpie so that you can mark it and it's clear. You're going to need a ruler, steel ruler or a tape measure. You're going to need some glue, some fibre which came in your kit and some lollipops to stick it in. And the final thing always forget one thing, is some threaded inserts, which we, sh which we used previously on fitting the rack. So it's the same threaded inserts. These are standard M5 threaded inserts, which can go into the frame, and obviously you then got a fixing point. So those are all the items you're going to need. So the first step, guys, is obviously have a beer. So I've got my bamboo. And... I'll just pour that through into there. So if you're joining us and you're finishing your day at work, tuck into a beer. Um, we have got the Brewdog Punk, Punk IPA today and into our bamboo. And if you caught our earlier edition, we talked about how bamboo can be used as a cup and how it's got a non-permeable layer inside. So you can catch our introduction to bamboo in our earlier Wednesday workshops. So, now that, we, now that I've had a beer, to start, what we're going to do is the most important aspect is to take the bottle mount and just measure the fixings. And on this one, it's 65 millimetres. So that means I need to create two fixings that are 65 millimetres across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my bottle cage and I'm going to stick the bottle in. Okay, so I've got quite a large bottle here. And then what that's going to allow me to do is I can see on the, on the frame where my bottle will go. And it's better to mount it lower towards the bottom bracket because you'll then have more clearance to pull out the bottle as you're riding. Okay, and similarly, if you're putting one up here, you can then check the clearance. So again, checking the clearance. So if you're just joining guys, I'm running through how to fit bottle cages to your bamboo frame. Okay, so what I've done initially is just to see where the bottle's going to fit on the frame. As I mentioned, it's best to put, put it further down on the down tube and then obviously check on the seat tube where the clearance is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark on the frame at 65 and I'm going to put my bottle cage in this instance, I'm going to put it here and here. Okay, and we can just cross check that. Always cross check as you go and then you can just see what the clearance will be like. Never just mark it. And so I can see that. And if I'm cycling now, I can reach down easily and there's lots of clearance to pull that bottle away. I'm then gonna take some tape. And whenever you're working with bamboo, it's really important to use tape because what happens is, is that when you're drilling it or cutting it or so on, you're gonna put the bamboo under stress and it may crack or you may end up with little splinters on the end. So always use tape when you're going to drill and cut the bamboo. So I'm just, where I've marked lightly with my Sharpie, I'm just going to put some tape around it. And what that will do is, again, just reinforce the bamboo. And I'll just cut that there. So I've got, I've got yellow tape specially so you guys can see it easily at home. Okay. I'm going to pop this around. And I put a generous amount, a couple of layers. Don't be sparing on tape. And then I'm going to take my steel ruler, as I mentioned, you're going to need a steel ruler for this job. And we're just going to mark up exactly where the bottle cage is going to go. So it's going to be 65 millimetres in this instance. 
And if you're building at home, you can obviously check your home build kit and you'll see the bottle cages on there. Or one of the best tricks I think is to have a look in your garage and have a look at a frame that you've got at home, an existing bike, and you can measure that up, okay? Right, gonna have another beer. Right, next step, guys, is I'm gonna take a drill and I'm gonna drill a pilot hole into the bamboo. So I'm gonna use a small four mil drill bit and that will allow me just to be as accurate as possible. Okay, so I'm going to drill through the marks. So one, two, and I'm just going to fit on the down tube. If you are installing bottle racks, you can fit them on the seat tube, down tube, or the underneath of the down tube. Okay, then I'm going to take a larger drill bit and I'm going to use a 9.5. So I'm going to use quite a large drill bit. And hopefully as you watch the video, you'll see why. So I'm going to take the drill and I'm just going to drill through. And you want to be as gentle as possible. I'm just going to... As you drill into the bamboo, just take your time. Okay. So if you're just joining us guys, I'm showing you how to fit a bottle rack onto the bamboo frame. So what I've done first is I've marked up and I've masked off the area and I've just drilled two holes. Once I've drilled the holes, I can take the inserts that come in your kit and I can fit them into the frame. So once I've done that, I'm gonna take the resin, the epoxy resin, you can either use the far set tack glue or you can use an epoxy resin. Personally, I would use an epoxy resin and leave it overnight, but because I'm doing a short intro to you guys, I'm gonna use a far set glue. The next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some glue. Okay. So I'll just try and do that up here so you can see. So just, it's a two part. I'm gonna mix that thoroughly. And then I'm gonna just check my insert fits inside of the bamboo nicely, and that's fitting really well. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this flax cloth that you'll get with your kit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the insert with the flax cloth, and that will mean that when you put your bottle in and it rattles around, what the flax will do is it will just act as a buffer between the insert and the bamboo and it will stop the bamboo from cracking. So I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to wrap a few strands around the insert, okay? And I'm going to cut any excess here, so any excess cloth. And then I'm just going to test the fit. What I try and do really is I try and do a, a soft layout, so I test that everything works before I start to use the glue, okay? And that's fitting really, really well, okay? So if you're just joining, guys, I am fitting bottle cages. How to fit bottle cages onto your bamboo bike, okay? And I'm gonna slot a glove on. Really important, if you're using glues at home, wear a glove because it's, it's toxic stuff and you wanna try and keep your hands clean. If you're about to eat dinner or anything else, it helps you to have a tasty dinner rather than something that tastes of glue. I'm just popping some glue, so I'm liberally putting glue in. Then I'm going to insert that into the frame. Okay. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. I'm going to take a little strip of cloth, cut that back so that I don't have too much because it won't fit into the hole otherwise. Pop another glove on. So as I said, always wear gloves if you're using glue. And if you're just joining it, as ever, I am covering bottle cages, how to fit bottle cages. A lot of people write to me, can I fit a bottle cage into bamboo? The answer is yes, you can. And we've kind of developed this method that we've seen work. We've seen people go across the world with this technique and it works really, really well. Um, and if you just follow and take your time, you can get a really good durability out of this technique, okay? 
So again, I'm going to apply some glue to my inserts and I've wrapped, wrapped it with flax fiber. And as I mentioned, the flax fiber is going to help to take up all this, all the rattle and all the force involved in that bottle cage. You can imagine if you've got a, a bottle full of water, it's going to be quite heavy. So you want to try and reinforce that as much as possible. The final step is to take some fixings and insert them into the bottle racks that you've just inserted. And I often do this because if you're using glues, you can easily put glue into the thread and then those threads become useless. So by just putting in the fixings, it allows you to keep those threads really clean. And then the final step is to take some tape and just add a bit of pressure onto the bottle cages as they dry. If you add pressure, you're going to get a better bond in and you're going to put more pressure on the, on the flax to conform into the shape. So I'm just finally doing that. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is going to, I'm going to leave that for three hours now to dry and then that's ready to fit a bottle. Similarly, guys, if you want to fit onto the seat tube, or underneath the down tube, you can do that. And a simile, what you need to do is measure, drill, wrap the, the inserts with flax fiber, insert into the frame, insert the M5 fixing so you keep the threads clean, and then insert those into the frame and leave to dry overnight. And once that's done, those fixings will be ready to use and you can fit your bottle cages onto your frame. If anyone's got any questions, let me know. But that's basically a very, very quick demo of how you fit bottle cages to your bamboo bike. I'm going to end there. Um, if you've got questions, if you've got any thoughts, if you want any feedback, or if you want to tell us what you'd like to see in the next Workshop Wednesdays, get in touch, post a comment, send us an email, send us a DM, and we will set up the next workshop around what you guys would like to see. Question on IG, what is the name of those inserts? So these inserts, so these are just called M5 threaded inserts. And if you Google them, you'll find them. And these are basically from the carbon fiber industry. So we've borrowed that technology and we've brought it into bamboo bikes. And what it allows us to do is anywhere around the frame, we can create an insert for bottle racks, mud guards, and also pannier racks, which we covered in an earlier session. So you can get these, they're not that expensive. I'd recommend the stainless steel ones over the aluminium because they've got more durability and also steel won't expand as quickly as aluminium so they're gonna hold in place better. But yeah, you can get those anywhere and they're a really good useful insert if you're doing any type of composite bonding. Okay. Any other questions? I think that's it for questions. Thanks again. Please tune into our next session where we'll run through a new demonstration of how to build your bike and do something new. Thank you ever so much. Bye for now.